everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to repaint such a 17 inch monster high doll and I have really special plans for her today and now some weeks ago in my video that was called plastic surgery for monster high I've turned the Claudine doll into a completely different kind of doll and I changed her face mold, I cut her cheeks, changed her nose, changed her lips and I changed her skin color. I turned her from a tanned girl into more pale like girl. Of course, I didn't mean anything bad by doing it and I told it in that video. But unfortunately, many people still felt a little bit you know, not comfortable with such a change. And today I'm finally going to do another thing. I'm going to take this big pink doll and of course it would be much easier to apply one layer of green pastels and voila, she has the same skin color like I am. But I'm going to turn her into real African beauty. I will not call this video plastic surgery because I'm not going to cut her cheeks or nose or lips, it all looks good and I think it will match the idea of the makeover that I have already now in my head. But I'm going to change yeah, the skin color, but first of all I'm going to change the vibe and the spirit of this doll and I'm going to turn her into a really beautiful African woman. With, well, nowadays it's 2018, it's trendy, all this African prints on dresses, all this stuff... Uh, shells around your head, it's all extremely trendy, it doesn't look that good on pale girls and girls from north but on beautiful tanned girls with dark skin, hot, their passion, it all looks just amazingly so I really hope I will score in this makeover and I really hope I will be able to put at least a small piece of real African vibes into this doll so, I hope you will enjoy this makeover and let's start working! Let's go! And while I'm removing her original outfit and the accessories and also cutting her hair off, I want to invite all of you to my live stream here on YouTube tomorrow, Saturday, at 9 p.m. Belgian time and it will be 3 p.m. at the east coast of the USA and 12 o'clock in the afternoon in Los Angeles. You can also see the time for your time zone on the event page on my channel. So let's chat tomorrow a little bit. I will finally tell you where my accent comes from and how I started repainting dolls. I will answer your questions live. And the most important part, we are going to unpack this silver play button award that I finally got from YouTube for 100,000 followers. So I hope you will join me tomorrow, because without you there would be no work possible. And there is something really strange about removing hair of big monster high dolls. My first 17 inch doll was the same like this one, and I could easily remove the rest of her hair, even though everyone on the internet was complaining that this, it was just a hopeless procedure. But then, with my next three big monster high dolls, I indeed had lots of problems that I just couldn't pull the rest of the short hair off. And now look, it again goes out without much effort. So, these ones with the blue hair are the best ones. Then I take pure acetone and I remove her weird eyes and lips. <laughs> and I know it sounds scary. Then I sand her body with nail buffers to remove the glossy top and then I clean the surface with an acetone-free nail polish remover. And then I take the head and the body and I cover them both with three layers of chocolate paint. So this is how it looks now and of course it's still very shiny. So I cover again the head and the body with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant to make the surface matte and to prepare it for further customizing. Then I take a reddish pencil and I sketch her eyes. 
I took a couple of reference pictures this time and I'm not really going to copy some certain face. But I'm going to steal some significant features from all of them to create my own woman face. And for her eyebrows, I will use black soft pastels. Then I start applying the main shadows using black soft pastels. And while I'm working, I will reply some of your questions that you've left in the comments under my videos. And the first one is from Kyla. What kind of glue do you use for the eyelashes? Honestly, I use a regular white tacky glue. It's strong, it's transparent, it doesn't destroy the sealed surface, and I can easily clean the excess with Q-tips and it will leave no traces. So sometimes simple things and materials are just the best. And here is another question about doll lashes and it comes from Roni. What kind of eyelashes do you use? Are they designed for humans or specifically for dolls? The eyelashes that I use are made for dolls. Sometimes I got negative questions about the lashes. People were saying something like, I see you're using regular human lashes, but you should trim them a little bit. No, guys, these are special doll lashes. They're very fine. They're 8 mm long, and I buy them per meter on AliExpress and those shops with all kinds of doll supplies. And human lashes would look just huge on tiny monster high dolls. <laughs> you can try it yourself. Then I take my watercolor pencils and I draw the first basic layer of her eyes. I just want to see them better when I apply the highlights and the color accents to her skin. In my last video we talked a lot about Mr. Super Clear Sealant and here's an extra question from Lady Lunoma. Do you have to use just Mr. Super Clear Sealant or are there other sealants? Me personally, I have worked just with Mr. Super Clear because I know from internet research that there are lots of issues with most of the sealants on the market. They get sticky, they crack, they become yellow, there are lots of unpleasant surprises. So I'm working with the classics as far as I can get it here in Belgium. But I know that there are some substitutes. At least there are lots of forum pages online where people are discussing the alternative to, to Mr. Super Clear. So you can look it up if you are curious about it. And let's probably answer still one more question and it comes from Janine. How does your mom make the clothes and will she be in the video as well? And here I have a good news for all fans of my mom. My parents are already building up the lights and soon my mom will be able to film all her work in progress as well. And then I will add her film parts into my videos. So we are all laughing, of course, because yeah, mom is opening a YouTube channel. But I think it's really amazing. So I hope in a month or so she will be able to show her work to you. With a black pencil, I work some more detailed on her nostrils and lips.
And then with a light pencil I create a background for the highlights. And it's very important to blend the pencil completely. And then on top I'm applying a layer of very light pastels and then I seal her face to set all the powders. Then I'm applying a layer of yellowish pastels on top. And now finally I'm going to turn this black and white negative face into a real skin by adding more colors. Terracotta, chocolate brown, red as a blush and just in the darkest places I use black soft pastels. The sealant will set all these bright pastels up and it will all look amazing with all these subtones. And now I'm going back to my pencils and I continue working on her eyes and lips. To her eyelids I also add a touch of golden pencil.
and now I want her skin to glow. So I add gold and soft pastels to the most highlighted areas of her face. With a black pencil I draw the bottom eyelashes. And then with white acrylic paint I add highlights to her eyes. Now I'm going to blush her body to make the skin color look exactly the same like her face. put the head and the body back together using a hair dryer again and I also cut the long pin off, otherwise it could damage the painted neck. And then I'm finally signing my work. For her outfit I will use such a fabric with animalistic print. I think it will fit the idea of the repaint and it's also very trendy nowadays. So for the top I will take a long piece of fabric and I turn all the four sides in. And then I'm attaching the first piece of velcro to the short size of our piece of fabric. Then I turn the fabric around the chest and like this I mark the place where to put another piece of velcro. Then I wrap the fabric around her body a couple of times and I add another two pieces of velcro to close it.
Now it's the skirt. I take quite a big piece of fabric and I cut the corners making them more round. And then I turn in all the sides of this piece of fabric. Then I attach two pieces of velcro to the ends of the straight side of the fabric and it will be the waistline. And then I gather it using an elastic thread. Using two corks, I'm making a pair of sandals for her. I sand them to get a perfect surface and then I decorate them with colorful beads. And in the end I cover the sandals with a layer of glossy varnish. And then I think I still want to add a couple of tattoos to her body and those golden ones will look just amazing.
Mm, no, I think I want to put something different to her belly. make a very dark brown wig for her, but then I've suddenly realized that I've had an amazing factory quality wig that I've bought already, I don't know, a year ago and never used it. It's a little bit lighter brown color and I think it will work very pretty with her darker skin tone. This wig cap sits a little bit loose on the doll's head, so I will glue a couple of stripes of velcro to her head on and it will hold the wig on its place. And now are the very last steps. Attaching the false lashes and putting glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. And now let's finally put everything together. And I also think she needs some colorful African beads. Let's make it. And here is my African beauty. I think she is such a special repaint on my channel and I really hope I could catch the vibe from the reference pictures. Of course she still looks very glamorous, but yeah, it's me guys, you know, there is always a touch of a Vogue magazine in my dolls and a touch of Beyonce in all my African repaints. But I really hope you enjoyed this repaint today and the end result of my work as well. And if so, please support this video and my channel by hitting a like button. I really hope you will join me live tomorrow to chit chat and to open the YouTube award. And of course, check if you've been subscribed to my channel if you don't want to miss my new doll repaints every week Friday. And now it's your turn to act. Tell me what you think, ask your questions and I will answer them very soon in my new video. Bye!